So that train that got robbed up in the Grizzlies had Mr. Cornwall's car on it, apparently. Always nice to see a returning face. Happy to help you start over. I'll send word to West Elizabeth. You have a good one. You look like you could use a ride, mister. Evening. Your horse is looking real skinny. Maybe feed a little bit more. We've got room in the stable if you need it. You treat that well, and you'll have a friend for life. Bye for now. You and that horse are always welcome. Hey, mister.
Hold up.
Okay then. Crystal boy. Just woke up and it's hell already. Well done, Arthur. You found the Irish Terrier. Sadly, he's just a younger version of you. Please don't say that to me, Dutch. <laughs> oh, it's true. It's true. Good morning, Arthur. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Whatever you say. 
What's wrong? You barely looked at me. I have a lot right. to think about right now, okay? Oh. Okay. Sorry. We've been in bad situations before, but... Good morning, Arthur. Right. Like my whole life's been one long, for you. bad situation. I'm a mother. I know, my dear. What are we gonna do? It's Dutch, I... I mean, he's always found a way, but lately, I... I know, dear. Buy oh, here for you if you want. John. John. Let's get on. Good. And you? Got everything we need. Good. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See you, Arthur. Ain't that dumb. Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. Favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you and, well, you know his father's useless. <laughs> okay. Thank you. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're right. It's about time that you started to earn your cape. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. I'll mount up and lift you on when you're ready. All right, hold on tight. So, where are we going? 
Just down to the river near here. We shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Well, your mama might disagree. There are a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> Been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. Really? When? All right. This looks as good a spot as any. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. You show me where, Uncle Arthur. First, we need some bait. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? The bellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. That's it, good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. I think you've got a bite, look. Got one, Jack. Is it a big one? You see him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Now, it seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. This is a great fishing spot. Don't jinx it, kid. Look, Jack, it's a bluegill. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. I'm going to pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. I'm going to try my luck over there. Hell. But then something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit and wait and try not to worry. It's 
good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Huh. Whoop, I think I got one. I see, I see. Oh, this one's a red fan picker. Not bad. Hey, look at this. The what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes, Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphaned street kid seduced by that maniac's silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton, Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. There's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000 for me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. No Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn. And you have my word, you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow but merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid, while you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about, no one at all. Come on, let's pick up your things and get home. It's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. Why did you lie about where Uncle Dutch is? Because, well, because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Did you like fishing? 
It was okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. There you are. How you boys getting on? Great. We caught a fish, and I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Not the luckiest. Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, uh, um, Milton and, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. So we're working on a plan for that train you told me about. Oh, I was wondering about that. It sounded worth a look. For sure. You did good. So you had fun partying with Sean again? Well, not as much fun as Karen did. <laughs> I don't think she thought that when she sobered up. What you prepare for? The greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. No, you simple-minded fool. Bison. Bison? Bison. From which you can get anything. There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple a long way off. Oh. Right? Good luck. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Sure. Why not? Mount up, then. Let's go. Before my time, of course, but my mother used to tell me stories of how her tribe moved with the bison. They lived almost as one. The bison went, my people went. And they were the center of all life. We couldn't survive without them. They provided us with everything. Food, clothing, shelter, tools. There was a lot of respect. Huh. I don't remember much of my childhood, but 
I think my people, well, we pretty much moved with the whiskey. <laughs> well, my father did that too. Let's try over here, to the left. Over there. You see them all? Incredible, aren't they? We should only kill one of them. I'll keep them ringed in and you see if you can bring one down. Okay? Clean as you can. Okay. Butcher it. Let's take the horns, too. It can all be used. Just give me a minute, boy. and mount up. I want to go check something out. Okay, let's go. Okay, boy. Let's go. Where are we going? I thought I saw some scavenger birds over here. I just wanted to see what attracted them. like why would someone do that i don't know but i see tracks heading in this direction i say we follow them all right lead the way could it have been an animal no they've been shot i just don't know why anybody would just leave them here to rot like that Another dead bison. On the hill to the right. Come on. Shot and left for dead again. But this one looks fresher. There's a camp there. I'm gonna take a look. since they left? Bison's been dead about the same amount of time. So what do you want to do? They could still be in the area. Let's get up higher, see if we spot anything. <laughs> this way. We should have a good view from up here. Okay. You see anything? Arthur, look. Smoke to the north. Could be another camp. Let's go check it out. Bastards. Just killing for fun. You think we can talk? I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need to. More 
dead bison. It has to be that. Come on, wait up. Shoot those bison. What's your problem? I said, did you fools shoot those bison? Calm down, you black or red bastard, whatever the fuck you are. Did you shoot them? Yes, we did. We shot them bison. We'll shoot you too if you don't get. What business is it of yours? What? We. <laughs> it's that business of mine! Good God, you're crazy! I got a family. A family. Don't shoot me. Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers. What the hell are you doing? Why are you killing those bison and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about. God damn it, tell us or you're dead. Oh, okay. We were paid to kill as many as we could and to make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. No. Oh. Please, don't kill me. I'm begging you. All right, I'll get out of here. Oh, just, don't, don't shoot me, mister. I got a family. Then run away. Why did you do that? He didn't need to die. Maybe he'll go tell his friends now what happens to poachers. I see enough of this. I'm heading back. Okay. I'm going to see if there's anything worth taking from their camp. I'll catch up with you later. Transport, keep clear. This isn't right. Let me out of here. It weren't my fault. I don't deserve to be locked up. Like we haven't heard that before. Yeah. Come on, please. Whoa. Let me out of here. Ah, 
Well, at least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. Well, you can scrap, Arthur. I'm just no good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I try to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, hey, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, eh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please, eh? Grow up. And let me come on the raid, witches. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns, you're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guards, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. <laughs> And where are you? I'm the future. In all its glory. Oh, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. <clears throat> Wake up, you lazy sir. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses, love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Hey, all the horses... Untethered? Think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Let's go. Get this thing moving. Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. If they see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently, picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so. Shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See, this is what I'm in. I disappear for a couple of weeks and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha ha ha. You're a funny fella, John Marston. But my folks, eh? You had your feet up the whole time playing sick and fondling that new scar like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. Hey, hey, take it easy. They're left here, towards Rose. You don't know what you're talking about. Too fast, Arthur. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Plus, I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah. Takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gunner sea. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> you know, my dad always used to say... Not the dad, no, please. No, this again. Fine. Damn you three. Sulky, angry, scarface. A right barrel of laughs. Yeah. So, you've got the tracks with the wagon, then jump. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles. Deal with the engineer. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody needs to die here. Yeah, yeah. Let's get it on the tracks. Whoa, whoa.
Mr. Marston. Mr. Smith. Mr. McGuire. Come! Get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I still want to die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. I'm going aboard. Make that quick and join us on hey. there. All right, get on that train. Faster. All yours, Captain. We'll go on ahead. So this can be over. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Let's make this quick. Stop it. Something to say. You boys need me. No. Okay, huh? Go ahead and look for the sure baggage car. Would yeah. you show this son of a bitch we ain't playing around here? You said Everything you got. Money. Values. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend then. Please. Money now. Shh. Come on, cough it up, people. Don't be shy. Everything you got. Let's go. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Okay. None of you folks move a muscle. What is it? You all right? Fill the baggage car. For Christ's sake. You ain't even taking a look yet? Probably something in here, Arthur. Best brother of all. I'm seeing double here. That gives you twice the chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna have a right old lump on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. Are those tennis rackets in there? Hosh bastards. Just keep your eyes peeled. I'm doing me best, all right. I know, that's what's worrying me. Jesus, how long does it take? How's it looking in there? Let's go. We'll 
take that. All right, we should probably be going now. Looking good in here. Come on, we should get out of here. Some decent stuff. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two arseholes on horses. How many, you say? Oh, I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Horst Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Eh? There's a few more of them turning up. <laughs> My big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. Won't tell you again. Men, come out now with your hands up.
<laughs> that was fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. <laughs> Shut up. At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. Hold up. 